Yeah, welcome everyone. Saturday morning, lunchtime. I never know what to call this. This is afternoon, I guess. It is afternoon, whether we like it or not. Um, and yeah, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Helen. Um, I'm going to invite us to maybe just take note of where we are right now. So you can have your eyes open, if you like this, for a little while, just to really allow the gaze to be soft, but become aware of your, your own surroundings, the screen in front of you. If you like to just allow shapes and color, sense of, it's funny, like just the eyes can sense the texture of something sometimes, can't they? So just aware of what looks soft, what looks harder. And if it feels okay, if you wish to leave the eyes open, feeling free to do that, but if it feels okay to allow the eyes to gently close over. And what's here now as we allow the eyelids to close? What, what are the eyes still seeing? So perhaps patterns of light and dark maybe some images still, maybe some colors. So without straining the eyes, without trying to see, without worrying too much about labeling, just becoming aware of the fact that the eyes are still experiencing sight, even behind closed lids. Maybe picking up differences in light moving across the closed eyelids. If the eyes are open, just with that kind of gentle, unfocused gaze, allowing yourself to receive the shapes and colors, contours of what's being caught in the gaze, what's at the edges, what's in the periphery. Again, as best you can without straining. And you might be aware of perhaps some moisture at the eyes. the tears. And the, the muscles that hold the eyes. And just as we will look at how we work away from gravity in a little while, perhaps now just sensing, is there a lot of unnecessary muscular tension around the eyes, are you holding on tight to the eyes? Is it possible to allow the two eyes just to rest into their muscle beds in the eye sockets? A little more perhaps. Sometimes when we try too hard, we just introduce more tension. So if tension is what we're noticing, tension is what we're noticing. This is invitational. It can be really helpful to notice also what's happening in the eyelids themselves. Sometimes without even knowing it, they're clenched tightly. So again, just noticing if this is how it is in your eyelids. And for me, I, I know, I notice that when I play my, place my attention somewhere, something shifts. If I place my attention in an area where there is clenching or tightness, something shifts automatically just from the mere fact of placing my attention there. So noticing how this is for you. We might broaden out from the eyes and the 
eye sockets across the bones of the, the face and into the muscles on top of those bones. So the layer of muscle in the forehead, the skin, We carry our frustration, annoyance, irritations, our sadness and griefs very often in this area, the forehead, the eyebrows, and we just invite them to, to maybe have a little rest these hard working muscles, forehead and eyebrows, eyes, eyelids. And how is it to move the attention down the face? down perhaps to the to the jaws noticing how the what's the relationship between the lower and upper jaws again is there clenching sometimes it can be really helpful to to open the mouth to just allow the mouth to open maybe even quite wide, just to allow these muscles at the hinges of the jaws to stretch a little and soften, perhaps. What's happening inside the mouth? The tongue, is it moving? Is it continuing some kind of conversation? Is there any taste that you're aware of in the mouth? Maybe something from breakfast or toothpaste or maybe nothing very much but just tuning in to this sense of taste noticing the moisture in the mouth Perhaps now choosing to deliberately move the attention just to the, to the nose, the upper lip, the nostrils. And becoming aware of the air moving in and out of the nose in the form of the breath. the little movements inside the nostrils. So as best we can really becoming curious about this, is there more air coming in one nostril than the other? Do you feel the sensation fill the entire nostril?
Is the temperature of the air moving in different to the temperature of the air moving out? And are there any fragrances coming to you on this air, subtle or stronger? It can be really interesting to notice, just as with the sights we want and the ones we don't want, the tastes we find pleasant and the ones we don't find pleasant. So perhaps noticing if there are fragrances that are here that are more pleasant than others that we would like more of, or some we would like less of, or perhaps very little coming to us by way of fragrance at all. And so we deliberately cultivate this capacity to sit with our experience, however it is. Pleasant, unpleasant, or neither. This cultivation of balance and equanimity. Sitting with things as they are, sitting with myself as I am. You might like to shift the attention to the area of the ears, if you wish. Noticing perhaps what happens at this invitation. Noticing maybe if suddenly there's some kind of muscular activity around the ears. So just as with the eyes, we invited them just to receive. The same with the ears. Noticing if we start going out looking for sounds. Gently inviting us to sit right back into this body, into this moment. And receive whatever is coming to us in terms of sound. Sounds in the building and beyond it. So we begin to notice layers of sound. For me, I'm really noticing quite a dramatic background sound of this very strong wind today. Noticing a response to that. I like it. And so I invite myself just to sit back and receive it, and the other sounds also, and the spaces in between, this thing we call silence.
You may choose to stay with any of these objects of meditation, sight or smell or taste or sound. But if you would like now to broaden the attention out to include this whole body, particularly sensations on the surface of the body, sensations of contact with what you're sitting or lying on, pressure, hardness, softness, clothing against the skin. Air against the skin, perhaps on the face or the neck or the hands or the feet. Sensations of tingling, perhaps vibrating, stretching, weight, the, the pull of gravity on the body. Perhaps really allowing ourselves to sense this stabilizing effect of gravity, holding us here, holding us steady. Sensing how this gravity almost can give us a sensation of being, being rooted into the ground. When we stop, when we attend to our present moment experience, when we drop into this kind of vertical plane, this present moment, Sensing this connection with the earth, holding us steady, giving us roots. As though like the roots of a tree. And from here, sensing the height of the body, lifting up like the trunk of the tree. We sometimes hear the expression, our, our true nature I like to think of our tree nature, this capacity we have to sense ourselves to be grounded, earthed, held, steady, in the midst of whatever is going on, whatever turmoil, whatever emotions are coming and going, whatever our life situation is, To use the tree metaphor, we can often get caught up in the, the branches and the leaves being blown around and forget that underneath the branches and the leaves is this solid, steady trunk sending roots down into 
the ground. We can sense this tree nature, this breathing tree. Wendell Berry has oh, several beautiful poems about trees, but I love this one. And sometimes when we sit still like this, and when I tune into this capacity to be still and steady and grounded in the midst of whatever is going on, this poem is the one that comes to me. I go among trees and sit still. All my stirring becomes quiet around me like circles on water. My tasks lie in their places where I left them, asleep like cattle. Then what I am afraid of comes. I live for a while in its sight. Eventually, what I fear in it leaves it. And the fear of it leaves me. It sings and I hear its song. I go among trees and sit still. All my stirring becomes quiet around me like circles on water. All my stirring becomes quiet around me like circles on water. My tasks lie in their places where I left them, asleep like cattle. Then what I am afraid of comes. I live for a while in its sight. What I fear in it leaves me and the fear of it leaves me. It sings and I hear its song. All my tasks lie around me asleep like cattle. Love that image that our tasks are so often driving us. When we stop in the middle of our day and sit together like this, they literally just get put down and go asleep for a little while and leave us to sit and find out who we really are right now. What's really here right now? How it is to be here right now? And maybe to recognize that right now is really all there is. Everything else is either gone or yet to come. Just sitting here, awake as best we can be, 
present as best we can be, cultivating this balance and equanimity and perhaps even some contentment in the midst of all this uncertainty. So I'm going to ring a little bell, really allowing yourself the luxury of receiving the sound. I'll ring it three times, but allowing it just to be received in the whole body. So thanks very much, everybody, for being here. I suppose it's really important for us to recognize that we're not just taking time out, but we're actually cultivating a way of being. And we can bring this with us into the next moments of our day. So, um, yeah, we're, tra we're doing something as well as doing nothing at all and letting go of goals and aims as best we can paradoxically we're um, befriending this mind of ours and um, that's kind of good work useful work so thanks everybody maybe i'll unmute people